All right, um, this is Gavin. Gavin, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Gavin Mangaayam. I have graduated from Lyman High School, class of 2020, and I'm currently attending KCC in Auto Tech. Uh, this is the first interview out of, I think, the last. So let's get it started. Um, so Gavin, how long is each class and how much do you put in each week? Or how much work do you put in each week? Um, each class is about overall like five hours and it varies for instructor but every one to two hours is like in class where you learn the theory and the curriculum in the how things operate and then the rest of the time and the majority of class is spent outside in the auto tech shop which is what your physical time is okay um, so the second question is, what requirements do you need? Do you need any tools? Um, as far as to get into the program, there really isn't any requirements. You just have to be on top of your schedule and just schedule on time when there's availability. For tools, yes, you have to buy your own tools. Um, but the school will provide some of the basic necessities like torque wrenches and drills and other stuff but you do have to buy your own tools um so where and how like do you start off in the automotive class does everyone you know have know their own thing or are there other people that are ahead of you how does oh it how does it work? Oh, yeah. Everybody definitely starts off at a different point in the auto tech class. Like, I I knew as soon as I got in, there's definitely a, a good group of people that are ahead of me. There's definitely a, a good amount of people who were behind me in terms of knowledge. But it kind of varies because everybody's smarter in somewhere else in terms of cars, but someone else is, has more experience. So, it's it's like a mix and match. It's like um, everybody does start off at their own different pace, but we all do learn, you know, at our own okay, discretion. So once you first started classes, as you said, you know, there were people that, that knew a lot more than you and there were people that knew less of you. Um, yeah. Did you all start at, you know, the same point? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So For sure. basically you learn. So if you're one of the people that already knew about the, about the part or the class, they would still have to restart and take it with everybody else, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. So working on cars, are you guys allowed to work on your own personal vehicles? Yes, you're allowed to work on your own personal vehicle. However, um, if you have a problem in your car, that problem has to correlate with the subject in the class at that time. And then then you can bring down your car to the tech auto tech shop and then you can diagnose it and work it out from there. But if you want to have your own like personal time to work on your car, you just do whatever you can just do that during like a uh, break. So what separates KCC from any other automotive program that has been offered to you? Um, actually, the thing that, this is the thing that really intrigued me too, because I didn't even know this about the KCC program, but we are native certified, 100% native certified. That means in each ASC, uh, all eight, you have to be 100% um, efficient, 100% like trained and certified so that means and everything we learn we have to know a hundred percent of we have the theory the hands-on and we're we're certified in that and so that means we don't really like specialize in a certain bracket like auto body or stuff like that so it kind of is, it's pretty cool honestly have you taken any other automotive classes other than KCC, maybe in high school? 
Or... I did take um, auto tech back in Waimea, and it provided me with, like a, a good amount of base knowledge, but it didn't really provide me with the hands-on experience that I needed. So what's the difference between the KCC program and uh, the one back in high school? The high school program, it's more like a all-around type of thing just to get your um it's like to get a foundation started for all your knowledge and then it's like all the basic stuff in kcc it goes way in depth and then it's like everything is like break down to the bone you understand how things operate and you get a lot more experience of disassembling reassembling doing things one certain correct way and it's just overall i think it's way better than what i had to offer in high school okay so you said that there are eight different certifications right as mm -hmm. certifications yes so would that mean is there eight different classes uh yes there are eight different classes for and, each oh, and what classes are there or what different eight classes are there okay so for my first semester, I had um, AMT 101, which is basically like giving a overall, like kind of like a quick um, crime class for what to expect in the next few semesters. And that's like kind of like the tutorial for everything. It just gets you like jump started. So I had suspension and steering. I also had brakes. Um, I had manual trans, engine repair. I also, there's also um, engine performance, um, electronics, and uh, automatic transmissions and engine. Did I say engine performance already? Yeah. And um, there's also hybrid too. Yeah. But is hybrid a whole different, step, like a separate class? Yeah, it's a, it's a separate class. It's um one of the optional ones, but I do highly recommend that if you are in that field, you should take the hybrid route because um all cars are converting to electric and so while it's nice to have the basic knowledge of automotive, you still have to adapt to the um the future so you can still make a good amount of money. So for the tuition cost, how much did you pay and were there any benefits since you just graduated fresh the auto I mail? Um my tuition costs was about thirteen thousand to fourteen thousand ish. So in terms of um my schooling, it's actually really cheap. And um the benefits uh, during the, about the time I graduated and when I applied for QCC, uh, I graduated during COVID. So there were um, a few like benefits and scholarships that are up for grab that definitely benefited me and like aided me in my tuition costs and definitely helped me out a lot. And last question, is money a problem when you work with cars, tools, or with car tools, car parts, and do you like enjoy the classes at all, or you know, are you getting stressed out? Are you making friends? Um, first of all, yes, I do enjoy the classes a lot. I have seen myself grown in terms of knowledge and experience, and I've definitely reached places where I I don't think I'd ever be able to reach in this program. Where when I first started compared to where I am now, I definitely feel like I have grown a lot in terms of my experience and knowledge in auto service. But um, money, uh, yeah, for for some people, tools and money is an issue. I'm definitely one of those um students that struggle to pay from the full cost of the required tools because overall the required tools that you need for the program is like twenty six hundred dollars which may seem a lot but if you really think about it it's a good investment because 
when you go out into uh, into the field, you're gonna need those tools anyway. So, yeah, it's understandable that um we have to buy our own tools, not only for the sake of our program, but also to benefit for our future. Okay, so one last thing. Um, is there anything you want to say towards the future kids that you know see this this project, and you know you don't you want them to you want to tell anything to them or any? Um, when you jump into the auto tech program, and you feel like you don't know nothing about the program. You don't have to worry. Everybody starts at a different point. Everybody has their own experiences and a different places and knowledge. But we all come to this program to learn. So you shouldn't really feel the need to be shy or insecure about where you start or if you um, struggle to learn. Because at the end of the day, I mean, as long as you learn something and you use it to benefit towards your future, I mean, what what is there to um, need to worry about? All right, and that concludes our interview.